prepare a graphic for perforated cutting using Roland Versaworks RIP software on a Roland Versacam or Versa Studio printer cutter, we'll first need to create a swatch named Perf Cut Contour and designate the line that is going to be perforated. To do this in Illustrator, I'll go to my swatches, use the drop down and new swatch, and we'll create a new swatch with the name of Perf Cut Contour. with a capital P, capital C, capital C, all one word. This needs to be a spot color. The actual color on the screen of the color does not matter as long as it is named Perf Cut Contour as shown here and the color type is a spot color. This will be seen in the Roland Versaworks software as a command to allow for perforated cutting. Click OK and you can minimize the window for the swatches. This graphic has already been set up as seen in the layer section with a cut line layer and artwork. The cut line will make a copy of and use this as the basis for our perforated cut line. I will lock the other two layers and turn them off and rename the layer I'm working on to perf cut. I'll select the path and then go to object path, offset path. We're going to take a look at how it looks with a 0.1 inch offset. Click preview and that looks pretty good to me for the offset I want on this to where my actual perforated cut line will be in the graphic. Select OK. Select the first line that we used as a reference and delete it. Select the second line and go to the direct selection tool and in here You'll notice because this is Illustrator Creative Cloud, I have these little circles. This allows me on any area that has a sharp point, such as down in here, where the blade would be going in and then jerking back the other direction, to round out that area and prevent that action and allow for smoother perforated cutting, also preventing potential chipped blades, ripped material, and cut up cutting strips. I simply grab that circle there and drag it out slightly and you'll notice that when I select off of it those areas have been rounded out making for much smoother cutting on your, our printer cutter. I'll go back to my selection tool and I prefer to have my artwork on the artboard itself so in this instance I could go to object, artboard and fit to artwork bounds. I'll select the cut line and now I need to make a copy of it. I press Control C, paste that in place, so Control Shift V, and now if I were to look in the layer, I'll see that there are two objects, both of them a path. They're both cut lines, and I want to make one of them a perforated cut line. The reason I've stacked them is so that the cut line will first cut through the vinyl that I'm working with and then the perforated cutting will be performed directly on top of that line but it only has to cut through the backing paper now. This puts less wear and tear on the machine, makes for smoother perforated cuts and a better overall product when it's completed. I'll take the top object here, select my stroke color, go to my swatches and select perf cut contour. The color now is Perf Cut Contour, and if I move this one aside, you'll see the Cut Contour line underneath it. I hit Control Z to place it back in place. I can minimize my window, and taking a look at the layers, you can see now that I have a perforated cut layer with a cut path and a perforated cut path, my cut line and my artwork, the cut line being for the normal line inside of the, the decal and then the artwork itself. I'll unlock all layers and now this graphic is ready for saving and bringing into the appropriate RIP software for production.